The sale of the state's electricity assets has stalled, with confusion about if and when it'll begin again. The Premier, Christina Keneally, trumpeted the first round of the sell-off in December. But with the state election looming, she says the second round could be the responsibility of the new government. Ms Keneally's now being accused of ditching the deal in the face of adverse publicity and leaving the electricity sector in tatters. Selling power continues to be a hard sell. It was supposed to be done and dusted by the end of 2010. The first tranche was sold in December, but sparked a politically damaging upper house inquiry. Now the Premier says the sale of the second tranche, the output of Macquarie generation, may not happen before the election. And so I can't give that guarantee, and this may well become a matter for the incoming government. Labor MPs have told the ABC she's putting it off to avoid more bad publicity and is dumping it on the coalition. Christina Keneally's announcement confirms that the first sell-off was the dud deal of the century and this second sell-off should be immediately halted. Barry O'Farrell has promised to reveal his energy policy next month but won't say if it'll be anything more than his promise of an inquiry. Matthew, you must have been a terrible kid at Christmas time. Just wait till next month. Meanwhile, the Upper House inquiry has also stalled. The eight power company directors who quit over the deal refused to turn up to give evidence. They feared with Parliament prorogued, they wouldn't be protected by parliamentary privilege. The committee is seeking arrest warrants to force some of them to appear. Even though this is a very historic step, I believe that the Premier, the Labor government, took the first historic step when they prorogued Parliament but it needs the approval of the Upper House President and Labor MP Amanda Fazio, and she's declined. I really don't think, given the uncertainty surrounding the inquiry, that that, that is a step that's warranted or that that is a precedent that I would be comfortable in setting. One former MP says it could be easily solved, with the Governor able to recall Parliament without the Premier's approval. Under Section 10 of the New South Wales Constitution, the Governor can reconvene Parliament. He admits it would be unprecedented, but then most of this saga already is. Matt Wordsworth, ABC News.